All right. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Patrick. It is a good morning. Wow, Frank. I don't, I don't know if you've been outdoors yet, but it's, it's uh, I think it's in the probably upper 50s and really nice and wonderful. Awesome. And, yeah, I'm putting my coffee down. No, I was been having a lot always on my mind. Frank, um, you know, given what we chatted about about my friend yesterday and what he's going through on a daily basis has led me to Second uh, Timothy, um, where Paul is giving Timothy on Paul is giving Timothy advice on on and and instruction on on how to like handle his ministry and whatnot and and whatnot that silly thing but uh the main theme in in it is the importance of staying calm and cool in the during our own, own you know try let me just try to say it like this as i'm stumbling around trying to be the same the best we can when when life is good and also when life throws the curveballs at us or as i like to say that mean old satan is flinging his fiery darts at us and uh because what paul says is people will depend on you when they can see how you handle yourself and also that way god can depend on us to be to know that we'll be to know that we will will we'll be the be the same and and strong and sturdy and standing on our firm foundation of the lord you know when we're met with different things and in second timothy verse chapter four verse five it says as for you be calm and cool and steady. Accept and suffer unflinchingly every hardship and do the work of an evangelist, fully performing all the duties of your ministry. And uh, and so that's you know, and that's that that's Paul speaking to to Timothy and, and that but that's such great such great advice for us all. And yeah. uh, I I, uh, I'm going to keep so much more mindful about that, Frank, because I, you know, when, when the turmoil hits oftentimes, and, and I'm talking about not just like a, not just like a, you know, a daily thing that's, that can be a little bit aggravating, but even when you get some kind of even news, maybe you're having a health issue or something, it is so important for us to stay up calm and cool yeah it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks at first but then you can we just got to reach in and say god you are i know you're there your promises are there and then accept it because god can change it anyway and and take care of things so you know i'm i'm i'm, a, I'm of the belief frank that a lot of the things that can happen to us physically are brought on by our own negative attitudes and something happened and we'll just like i always will say start going down that rabbit hole thinking wrong thoughts start to catastrophize and before you know it you got a foot in the grave and uh no need for that that's for sure the so stay stop calm strong and steady god's there for us we'll do what we can do and god will do what we can't do do you agree with that frank yes i do <laughs> yes i do is it conjuring up any thoughts for you, Frank, especially with what you're dealing with? Well, Patrick, I'm glad you asked that. Oh, <laughs> glad I did too. Um, Jesus is like a stability bar. You know, uh, one of the nice things at Sycamore is, is, the rest, you know, the uh, the showers and 
you know, uh, fixed up according to the needs of the people uh, for stability when they get in the shower and they have to, uh, you know, they're, they're unsteady. We're, as we get older, we get unsteady. And uh, uh, when you start to slip or your balance, you lose your balance, it gives you a, 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 a scary feeling and you yeah. can overreact and make it worse. And when, you know, Jesus is our rock. And when you, when you start to slip and you reach out and, and you grab hold of the rock, the slipping stops. There's Amen. no more slipping. There's no more lack of balance. He is the rock. You just, you just hang on to the rock and you're okay. And, and that's, I think as a, uh, I have gone through, I have gone through enough um, uh, scary medical stuff, you know, melanoma operation that they just barely caught that stuff in time. Uh, lymph lymphoma that uh, they said it was a stage four or five, and yeah, and and uh, you know, but it turned it turned around quickly. And I'm still here from those things. Uh, and I've, I've, I've lots of other things that I've been through. And uh, the longer I've been going through them, the more that I've learned. If I call on the name of Jesus, I get steady. Yeah, if, you know, pain is still pain. But I, I don't, I don't lose uh, I don't, uh, I don't lose that inner steadiness the way I did when I wasn't reaching out to the Lord. So just let me pray, Lord, uh, for all of our friends and, and for all those who suffer today and for all those who get too happy today. And Lord, you know what I mean by that. Uh, I pray that, uh, I pray that all of us will realize the power that Jesus has to make our lives solid and steady and immovable like a rock. And so bless us today with the grace of realization of, of that power of Christ to 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 take away our fears, our unsteadiness, our shakiness, and to give us courage and strength and wholeness. And I pray this in the, His precious name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I agree with my brother Frank. Well, Frank, the Tuesday already beautiful out, and uh, I'm going to stay strong, steady, and calm, and get through another day here with my loved ones at the home and uh, just be, and I'm just certainly thankful for you, but I'm certainly thankful for everybody that uh, catches a glimpse of this or, or if we're saying anything that, that, that matters, that's, that's what we're trying to do this for. So anyway, uh, just stay, stay positive because what, what better way to be than positive? Pat, thank you. Thank you for bringing those scriptures on and, and for your comments. Uh, I am looking forward to this. You know, I miss being there uh, in the mornings with you and and just being able to do this uh, Zoom call and to share a little bit of, of uh, faith and, and, and prayers and positive thoughts really makes my day get off to a good start. It certainly does mine, too, and I hope it does for everyone else. Frank, I love you. Uh, Love time you. to get to work. <laughs> All righty. Beagle. Hey, Frank. Yeah. You didn't turn it off. Oh, oh, oh.